Hey, um, I actually got a request, um, from the same person, actually, um, about a feature in GIMP that many people don't know actually exists, and some people know it exists but have no idea how to use it, or they've used it before, did not use it properly, and they ended up with a horrible result. Um, it's called Text to a Path, and I've used it quite a few times before. I'm sure many of you have seen uh, some of my drawings with Kurt Text. You probably wondered how did I do it. I did it in GIMP. Um, yes, it does have a feature called uh, Text to a Path, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go up here. This is your Paths tool. And just draw a line. And just be careful not to draw it too sharp, otherwise you're going to end up... Uh, I'll probably do two examples to show you what a bad line looks like and what a good line looks like. And... Uh, kind of show you the difference between them and what I mean by a horrible result. Um, this is a simple shallow S-curve. And if you look in these uh, tabs here, I have a tab for paths. I have one, ta uh, one path here. This is the little path here. I'm going to turn that on. And if you're wondering how to get this uh, option or these little tabs to show up, click on this little arrow here. And you can add any of these little tabs. Yeah, right now, my default one, uh, or the one I have set up right now, is my Layers and Paths tab. So right now, uh, when I, I have my path drawn, I go to Layers, and types in some text. If I can type, okay. Okay, um, most of you even know, oops. Did not mean to do that. If you guys know programming, you know that Hello World is used for uh, your first program and first drawings of text, apparently. Um, so I have my text and I have my path, and when I go to layer, I can go text along a path. Now, see, since my text was shorter than my path, it's going to go along the first uh, part of my path. And if you want to stretch it, you can, or um, war uh, warp it, you can. But um, as of now, uh, it created a uh, image. It created this image. This is actually a uh, path here, this Hello World. So I can get rid of my original path, and here I have my new path. And with this text Hello World, you can just delete that. Uh, and right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Select, From Path, and it's going to select the path I have. And now what I do is simply color in. And actually see what you're coloring, you can shut off your path. And there's my curved Hello World. Now here's a little feature um, that I like to do, uh, or I like to add little effects. I'm going to grow my selection. Now let's grow up by two pixels. And color this in black. Nice and bold. Now you can see some, some evidence of uh, bad curvature right here. My R is a little squished and warped. That's what I meant by kind of like a bad warping. This isn't bad though. Uh, both of these words turn out pretty well. But um, I'll show you after this a bad example of uh, text to a path that is really going to uh, mess up my words here. Now I'm going to go to select and shrink. And I'll shrink this by two, so you have my original. And I'm going to color this in red. Now I have a nice thick outline on my text. Now I'm going to show you another example. If I get rid of this, create a new layer. Delete these paths, do not need them anymore. And I create a new path. Now this is a horrible horrible path. Really sharp curve, uh, really sharp, not even curves at all. Uh, I don't have any curves on this. This is a sharp angled mess. And this is really going to screw up my text here. Now see how this turns out. Wow, if I can take today. There we go. Alright, 
I'm not sure what happened there. Bad text. Okay, so I'm gonna go layer, text along a path. Now see, this is something you don't want. Let me get rid of uh, so I can show you. Select from path and color this guy in and show you exactly what we're dealing with here. You don't want that. You can't even read that. That's supposed to be a T. And since it's going around that text, this is a little bend right here. Bad doesn't look too good. Uh, bad doesn't look too bad. But, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty awful right there. That's why you want a nice transition. Um, you can use text to a path to do curves. Um, you can do, like, around a radius, or if you, uh, let's see, what would be a good example? I actually, um, draw these in my uh, comics a lot for, like, uh, automatopias. Um, they actually do a pretty good job. Uh, for automatopias. So let's say you want to make something go boom. Okay, I'm go to my paths and I am going to draw a nice curve. That was a little bad right there, but you can easily fix here. Make it nice and smooth as possible. This is a short little word, so it's, it doesn't need that long of a path, but... Okay. So, you know, text along a path. Yeah, it right. Text along a path, there we go. Ah, it gave me some radius there. That wasn't the best example, but at least it shows you guys uh, what you can do with it. Now what I'm going to do... And color this guy in black. Oops, you select it first from path. And I'm going to select. Um, actually, for this example, I'm not going to grow or shrink anything. Let me turn my path off so you can see what I'm drawing here. And I'm going to create a new layer and color this guy in again red. I deselect, go to my bottom layer, which is black, and offset. And there he has sort of like a 3D automatopoeia. And uh, that's what I use for my comics a lot. Uh, you basically just offset the bottom layer to kind of give you a little bit of a shadow. And if you want, you can make that, um, uh, you can make that selection a little bit bigger so it kind of gives you a wider shadow. But yeah, you can, uh, you know, you make a little, little more, like, a comic monomatopoeia here. And fill that in yellow. There you go. That's just a basic, a basic, a few basic examples of curved text. Um, just some things to know. Um, you do have to be careful with the font you use, especially for cursive or uh, script-like um, fonts. Those are, uh, they don't really, um, they don't really work too well with curved, uh, with paths, just because of all the uh, curvy lines and connected lines and everything. Uh, you, if you want to do that, just use a very shallow curve, like hardly a bend to it at all. Um, you can do a radius that doesn't that doesn't look too bad with uh, cursive text. Um, also, another thing you want to uh, look at is the size of your text compared to your path. If it's really small like this, if a huge path, it's only going to do a little section. If you have a huge word with a little bit of path, it's going to scrunch it down like a couple pieces of paper. Um, so you do want to be careful and beware of. Uh, your sizes of your lines, or sizes of your text compared to your paths and all that stuff. And also, um, you may want to create a separate layer uh, if you want to um, do curved text. Uh, don't draw on that layer, because as you can see here, my layer, my layer 1, is my curved text. They're not called boom anymore. 
Um, that's because my text layer was called boom, that's why I typed it in, but I removed that. Uh, this isn't a text layer at all, this is a normal layer. That's the layer that's created after you create the uh, text to a path. And it doesn't name it boom or whatever you, text you typed in. You have to be cautious that uh, what layer you're uh, drawing on, because if you draw on this layer, you gotta say, oh, I want to move this somewhere else, your drawing moves with it. That's a heartbreaking feeling that you just drew in the wrong layer and you may have to start your drawing over. Um, I do have a little technique I'm going to do in another video that um, may salvage your drawing if you do that. Um, that's coming in another video though. So if you do have a drawing that you may have messed up because you drew the wrong, wrong, wrong layer, can't talk today, or you want to change something that you already drew, I have a little technique technique that can fix that, so that's coming up. But yeah, that's my little tutorial for today is uh, curved text. I hope this helps you. Um, if you need me to do a uh, written version of this, like a deviation, uh, I can do that as well, but I have a feeling that it's probably better to explain this sort of thing uh, as a video. So thank you for watching.